Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is a beta tank build. This was my original beta tank, which was a beta trio, and I hated it, so this is the new one. This is Interpet Aquacube LED, and I'm going to be showing you how I created the final look. So first up, I'm adding in the sand. This is just a natural beige coloured sand, and this is what I'm going for as my substrate. <laughs> pieces of wood as my main hardscape. I've covered them with little blobs of the taxifilum moss. Um, I just used some cyanoacrylate super glue and glued this to the wood pieces. I've spent about 20 minutes figuring out where I wanted these pieces so I'm just going to speed through the whole process just so you don't get bored. <laughs> hardscape in place I went in with some decorative gravel so this is a sort of larger decorative gravel they're almost sort of like little stones really I picked this up from pets at home it's in like an orange bag I've used it otherwise I would have shown you um, and I forgot to take a picture of it but it's a really lovely stone I've used this in a couple of my tanks now and I'll definitely be purchasing it again I think it looks really good and it works really well in this kind of tank because where it's only a nano tank I don't need lots of big rocks I'd like the little ones and these are just the right size to look big enough but not overwhelm the whole hardscape and now just to finish off the look I'm adding in a really finer sort of almost pebble like decorative gravel um, I picked this up in a little pot it's about five pounds for this pot and it was really worth it I think this adds the extra depth to the other decorative gravel because where it's a different size and I'm also adding in um, Tropica's Nutrients root tabs. I find that these are the best for growing carpeting plants or any sort of plants in your aquarium. I've inserted a picture of the plant I'll be using. I've got two of these. I've not decided to split them up at all because I want to keep them whole just so that they're quite bushy and quite statement-like. I didn't want anything too big and bulky as I wanted the wood and the rocks to be like the sort of main attention of the tank. Um, so what I'm doing, obviously where this is a sort of diagonal scape, I'm sort of contradicting that diagonal by placing the two plants in either of the opposite corners to the diagonal line. So I'm just using some paper towel to fill up the tank with. Um, I put this down first just so that the stones and the sand and the plants don't all get disrupted by the flow of the water going in the tank.
and this is the finished look. It's turned out absolutely amazing. Just adding in some liquid fertilizer for the moss to absorb from the water column. And now I'm just adding in my male beta. He's a pinky purpley beta. He's beautiful, but unfortunately he's lost most of his tail at the moment. Um, I believe it's due to stress from the previous tank, which was the beta trio by Aqua One. I personally didn't have a very good experience with it and I don't like it. I thought it would be fine to keep betas in uh, the beta trio, three of them, because that's what it's designed for. However, on a long term basis, I don't think it's worth it and I don't think it's fair on them either. My betas are doing so much better and are so much more happy and active in their own tanks. They are in a 6 gallon or a 28 litre tank, which was a lot more than the 32 litres that the beta trio holds in one. So each section is like, what, 10 litres maybe? So they have a lot more space and there's a lot more flow of water here. As my blue beta unfortunately didn't make it, he kind of almost kept getting sucked into the grooves at the back part where the filter sucks in the water. And he ended up getting swim bladder from this and then he didn't make it unfortunately. And my purple beta got so stressed out with the flow because the flow needed to be able to flow through all three compartments and then go around the back to be filtrated out. But I don't feel like it actually did that. And then when I turned the flow up, he then got really stressed. So I decided to move them into their own individual tanks and it's worked out really well. So one month after I set this tank up, you can already see the improvement of my beta. His tail has already started to regrow and he's already looking so much more better. So this just highlights how important it is to give your fish exactly what they need. If you like this video, like and subscribe, hit the bell, turn those notifications on. Follow me on Instagram where I upload daily and thank you guys for watching. Bye!